Hello there. So, there have been many stupid things I've done during my five years of coding. So, to help you, here's stuff I wish my pink squishy blob of brain knew five years ago. One. When should you start? Well, this question is easy to answer. Start now. Download Unity and start now. There's no point waiting a week or a month to start. If you want to start coding, do it now. The longer you program and the sooner you do it, the better you will be faster. Two. Now this is something that caused me a lot of trauma. Renaming a C sharp file. When you rename a C sharp file, you need to make sure that you change it in the code line. Here. With the new name of the file. Also, never use spacing in naming C sharp scripts. Just use capitals for each new word. I don't know if it was just me. Yeah, probably just me, but you know now. Using tutorials. Sounds like an obvious thing to do, but here's where you're gonna hate me. Don't copy and paste. Let's say you're watching a tutorial on how to make a car with Unity and they had the code in the description. Don't copy and paste it, but actually go through and follow along and type the code yourself. This allows you to understand the code yourself and trust me when I say this, it is worth it as it will enable you to learn faster and understand what you have written. Four, this one is definitely related to only about half of programmers or less, but before you start making levels, make sure you get the play and movement working 100% with every thing you want it to do. If you want your character to wall run, make it wall run before you start making levels. This is super important to do, especially if you're doing a split screen or multiplayer game like I am. I've been coding and having to go fix everything in every single level because the code affects all the levels and all the characters. Last but not least, don't give up coding. Coding can be hard and takes time to do. Don't just stop your dream because you're struggling to make something work. It took me over a hundred hours to learn how to make a stick figure work with an Xbox controller. You'll get there eventually. Also, bonus one, use the new input system. There's so much useful things you can do with it and it's so much easier than hard coding everything like I have. But now you know the mistakes I've made. Hopefully you won't make them too. So good luck on your coding adventure and please subscribe and have a good day. Goodbye.